This is an installation guide video for the Asafe Tech Interlinked Fire Alarms. Both mains powered and battery powered alarms or smoke, heat, carbon monoxide and multi-sensor alarms pairing method are the same. This video is divided into the following six sections. Section one, key features of the fire alarms. Smoke alarm has a small lever switch on its rear. Gently turn the lever clockwise across two notches to power it on. The LED will flash a few times, indicating that the device has been successfully activated. Or close and twist the back plate to turn on the fire alarm. The heat alarm has a lever switch on its rear. Slide it from off to on to power it on. The front LED will flash a few times. Multi-sensor alarms has a small lever switch on its rear. Turn the lever clockwise across one notches to power it on. The LED will flash a few times, indicating activation. Or close and twist the back plate to turn on the fire alarm. To activate the carbon monoxide alarm, slide the wall bracket downwards and remove it. On the rear of the alarm, there is a push switch. Use a small tool to press the switch inward to turn it on. The green LED on the front will flash for approximately 30 seconds while initializing. Once the initialization is complete, the device will emit a single beep accompanied by a red LED flash, signaling it is ready for use. The remote control has a battery compartment on the back. Slide the compartment open, remove the plastic tab between the battery and the terminal, and then close the compartment securely. For mains powered alarms, the switch is located on the back of the device. Press the square button to turn it on. The LED will flash a few times, indicating that the device has been successfully activated. For mains powered alarms, attaching the base will automatically switch the alarm on. Please note press the test button gently to avoid mechanical damage. To mute triggered fire alarms, press and hold the button for two seconds to stop the sound. If the fire alarm is triggered, one single press of the test button will only hush the alarm temporarily. The red indicator will keep flashing, and the alarm will sound again after nine minutes. To reset the fire alarm, press and hold the test button and wait for the green light flashes four times, and then release it. The green LED will then wash three times signifying it has been reset successfully. The main device. Press and hold the test button until the green LED flashes three times. Then release the button immediately. The red LED will then flash rapidly. To pair an additional device, press and hold the test button on the device until the LED flashes twice. Then release the button immediately. The device's red LED will flash slowly three times, indicating it has successfully entered pairing mode. Section two, how to interlink two or more fire alarm kit. Make sure each alarm is switched on before operation. Choose one fire alarm to be your main device. Press and hold the test button wait for green LED flash three times. And then release button immediately. Then the red LED will flash rapidly. Next, choose another alarm to start pairing. Press and hold the test button wait for LED flash two times and release button immediately. Then the LED will flash three times. This means alarm has linked successfully to the main device. Follow the step to any other additional devices. Please note the pairing mode on main device only stays active for 60 seconds. If the main device's light stops blinking, repeat the process. If you need to end the pairing mode early, press the button once at your main device. To test the system, press any device once. All the alarms shall flash and beep for 10 seconds. Please note there may be a delay of 3 to 5 seconds with some devices. 
we recommend performing a test once a week. Section 3 How to Interlink Fire Alarms with a Remote Control The pairing method for the remote control is the same as that for the fire alarms, but the remote control only has an LED flash without sound. Make sure each alarm and remote control are switched on before operation. The remote control uses a replaceable 23A, 12 volt battery. If the red light flashes, it indicates that the battery needs to be replaced. Choose one fire alarm to be your main device. Press and hold the test button, wait for green LED flash three times, and then release button immediately. Then the red LED will flash rapidly. This means the alarm will be in pairing mode for 60 seconds. Start again if you don't see flashing red LED. Next, choose remote control to start pairing. Press and hold the test button, wait for LED LED flash two times and release button immediately. Then the remote LED will flash three times. This means alarm has linked successfully to the main device. To test press once on the remote or fire alarm, all the alarms shall flash and beep for 10 seconds. We recommend that you test once a week to ensure the fire alarms are in full working order. Section 4. How to interlink a new alarm to the existing group. Make sure each alarm is switched on and existing group interlinked before operation. To test, press any device once all the alarms will flash and beep for 10 seconds. If any alarms did not sound, which means it may not interlink or faulty, link the group before pairing. Take one of alarm from the group, press and hold the test button, wait for LED flash three times, and then release button immediately. The red LED will flash rapidly for 60 seconds. Restart the device if made error. Next, press and hold the test button on the new device for LED flash two times and release button immediately. Then the device red LED flash three times slowly. This means alarm has interlinked successfully with the group. To test, press any device once. All other devices will flash and beep. We recommend that you test once a week to ensure the fire alarms are in full working order. Section 5. How to interlink fire alarm to the 7-inch control panel. Please note that to comply with UK fire regulations, all interlinked fire alarms must be grouped together to ensure that when one alarm sounds, all alarms will sound. Ensure all devices are switched on and fire alarms are interlinked as a group before connect to the control panel. To do so, please refer to our pairing video. All fire alarms are interlinked. Open the Hestia 7-inch control panel. Enter the default password 1234. Go to the accessory pairing section. Click sensor and select safety sensor. Please trigger then the press accessory. the test button on one of the fire alarm you have in the interlinked group. Please note that all fire alarms must be added to the safety sense auto ensure you receive alerts at all times. Please rename the fire alarms group to fire alarms using the Hestia app. Doing so will be able to identify the type of alarm being triggered. Please enter the code. You can perform tests on the control panel or fire alarms. Press the test button to mute the alarm. Once the fire alarm being triggered, it will activate the control panel and receive live notifications from the Hestia app.